welcome to Easy Play Piano. If you're new to piano improvisation or ready to pick up a few new tips and tricks, then you found the perfect place to begin your piano improvisational journey. If you're feeling confused about how to arrange chords and want to feel confident improvising at the piano in any social situation, don't miss your chance to sign up for a free consultation below and let's chat. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. I help people just like you go from confused and confident to improvise at the piano in any social setting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a lesson. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I like to keep things really simple. Improvisation doesn't have to be complicated. So for this lesson, we're going to actually start with the very, very simple C major scale. And that's all you need to know. So if you need to take a minute to practice this and re-familiarize yourself or familiarize yourself with the C major scale, this is where we're going to build out our improvisation in this lesson. If you are not familiar to the C major scale, middle C is right in front of where you should be sitting. It's basically the middle note of your piano, and the notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. So if you are not familiar with the C major scale, it's really easy. It's just all white keys. And if you need to refresh your memory, take a minute, pause the video and practice the C major scale because this is where we're going to build out the improvisation in this lesson today. As you can see, we're gonna start really, really simple. So in my left hand, I just have uh, a low C. And if you, uh, are newer to improvisation or newer to piano, you don't have to add the left hand, but I want to give you that option. So in the right hand, we're going to play the first three notes of the C major scale, and those notes are C, D, E. Now we're gonna go back, so your third finger should be on the E, and we're gonna start back on the D, and then move up three notes, D, E, F, and then we're gonna go back down and start back on the E, F, G. So let's play through that one more time. Again, all we're doing is moving up to the G and repeating a note like this. C, D, E, go back down to D. D, E, F, go back down to E. E, F, G. Now let's try that one more time a little bit faster. Here we go. So as you can see already, this could be the basis of an amazing, beautifully yet simple improvisation. Here we have the same improvisation, but this time I'm actually going to add an octave. Now, if you're not comfortable with this, just simply stick with the C. Uh, this is the C below middle C with your left hand. But if you want to give it a little bit more depth, go ahead and add the octave. This is completely alternative. Um, actually, anything we do together, please feel free to modify it. That best fits your hand size and that sounds good to your ear. So we're going to play the same thing again with the C just with the low octave in the bass, just like this. So play along with me. C, C. Now in the left hand, we're gonna move up to G. D, E, F, D, E, F. Back down to C, starting with E in the right hand. E, F, G, E, F, G. Now, as you can see, you can feel it starting to take shape. And the beautiful thing about this is it's so simple, yet it provides the most amazing foundation, a pattern for your improvisation. Let's try it one more time together a little bit faster. Here we go. Now, I don't know about you, but I can think of a million and one ways that I would love to add variations and create on this. So let's try and see if we can start adding a little bit more flavor to this very, very simple outline. Now, as you can see here, we have the next part of the scale. So up until now, we've only been playing the notes C, D, E, F, and G. Now we're going to play the second half of that scale. So we're gonna start this time on F, and my left hand is simply just playing the F, the G, and the F, and this is just to give a little bit of a grounding to the sound. Again, if you're newer to piano, don't worry about the left hand, just get really comfortable with your right hand. So the right hand we're gonna start on F, we'll play F, G, 
A, go back down to the G, A, B, back down to the A, B, C. So if you think about it this way, we're simply moving up in thirds, and every time we go up, F, G, A, we're going to go back down a note, G, A, B, go back down and out to A, A, B, and C. So let's put this all together and see what it sounds like. Okay, so let's try this one more time a little bit faster with a little bit more momentum. As we did earlier, now I'm going to add that octave in my left hand. Again, if this is too complicated for you, you can either completely leave out your left hand or simply just play the top note. Just You don't have to play the octave, but I always want to give you as many variations and I want to inspire you in your improvisational journey. So let's try this together. Same thing in our right hand, but our left hand is going to take the octave. Here we go. Now wasn't that easy? As you can see, the pattern that we played at the very beginning of this improvisation is exactly the same. We're just moving up the scale, referring back to the C major scale. Now we have just a few notes left to finish off our C major scale. So this time we're going to start on B, and the left hand again is just going to play G three times to keep it super simple because I really want you to begin to feel really comfortable and confident and I want you to develop a sense of ease and flow as you're in your improvisational journey. So for this part we're going to start on B and we're going to play B, C, D, go back down to the C, D, E, go back down to the D, E, F. So all we're moving is just from B C, D. Now our left hand, let's add that in and see what it sounds like. Really beautiful. Similarly to what we did with the other um, patterns, we're going to add in that octave with our left hand. Again, as I repeated earlier, if you are new to piano or are just beginning to feel comfortable with improvisation, don't worry about it. Just play the top note of the octave. But if you're slightly more advanced, if you're ready to give yourself a challenge, go ahead and add that octave. So we're going to start with the B again, and we're just going to work our way up. Try it with me. B. B, C, C, D, D, and back down to C. Let's try it one more time with a little bit more momentum. We're going to speed up the tempo just a little bit. Here we go. Now let's put this all together and see what our improvisation sounds like. We're going to start down with the C and work our way all the way up to the very top. Here we go. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.